he was coming back one day and was so tired, he pulled under the, an overpass on the side of the interstate and went to sleep. And the state police came and, and woke him up. At one time or another, he was operating here, Lutheran General, University of Illinois, Rush, University of Chicago, Good Sam. So he was all over town. He was the king of the pediatric congenital heart CV surgery in Chicago for 25 plus years. We had patients from other countries and other states coming to have surgery with him because he just was so invested in his patients that he just wanted to take care of every little detail. We did our very first surgery on October 1st, 1984, and he spent the night at the bedside watching everything with his child. It was near and dear to his heart. I remember one case. They were in the operating room for 25 hours, and many people would have just given up. You know, but he was committed. The patient survived and had good neurologic and overall outcome. Look at her! When I tell people where I work, the program that Dr. Abawi really grew. People know him and they really respect him. They know what a great surgeon he is. And also what a nice person he is. One day, we had taken a child off from heart lung support. This was a very difficult, dicey situation, but the child actually did well. The room was a bit messy. You know, there was blood and, you know, and surgical instruments and everything. And I turn around, and there's Dr. Bowie on all fours on the floor, just basically mopping the floor. And I thought to myself, here's a giant in our field, but also a guy who has the humility and the thoughtfulness to make sure that the parents, when they walk in, don't see one drop of blood. When I interviewed here and first met him, I was really taken aback by how such a world-renowned surgeon was taking time out of his busy schedule to talk to me. He knows a lot about every doctor who, who he interacts with. You know, he, he asks about our children. He, he sort of brightens my day whenever I see him, and I'm really gonna miss that. But like I said, I don't think he's retiring. <laughs> Dr. Elbawi, I think, is revered, you know, locally, nationally, internationally. He's raised the bar very high for everyone. He's a guy who's incredibly technically gifted, and I think he always gave the best for his patients. Dr. O'Bowie was Owen's surgeon when he had open heart surgery at 11 weeks and two and a half years old. He had an AV canal defect, which is the whole center of the heart is not formed correctly. He sat us across the table from him and explained exactly what he was gonna do in the surgery, and then he drew us a picture. So he'd actually drawn it upside down from where he was sitting and shown us the repair that he was gonna do, and it was all about us and the care we were gonna receive. We felt such peace coming out of the office that day, knowing that we were in great hands. He was only like 11 pounds, I think, mm -hmm. and he said to us when he was doing the surgery that his heart is like the size of a chestnut. I'll never forget him saying that. And not only was Owen's life saved, and he was able to live a life, but a beautiful life, and one that he is able to do all the things he loves. I'm able to play soccer with my friends. I'm able to live basically like an everyday life, and it's just, it's amazing the care that he's given me. I think a lot of people with his defect wouldn't necessarily have played varsity sports. He was a hockey goalie, played soccer all through high school. He also plays golf, and he played high school tennis. It was a sight to behold to watch him play. We did not know that she was going to be born with a congenital heart defect until three hours after she was born. Dr. Bowie met us and he said, don't worry, I got her, she's going to be okay. And just his reassurance and that confidence, I think is what we needed as parents to give us that calmness. She's all tubes running everywhere. She's got the breathing tube in her mouth. They're giving her different medicines every hour. And he would always tell us, you know, we need to look at the bigger picture that Bella will come home. A, B, C. Bella is four and she is doing great. 
She is full of energy all the time. It's beautiful. It's honestly the most beautiful thing we've seen, just seeing how far she's come and where she's gonna go. She's gonna do something great. I just know it. <laughs> Dr. Abawi saved our daughter. He went above and beyond to make sure that we were okay and that she was okay. He would get done with surgeries at a certain time, but he would still somehow be there at 10, 11 o'clock at night. He would just wander <laughs> into our room and kind of explain what's going on. I mean, there's times when you would see him in the unit just walking and pacing the hallway, checking in on his patients. I would literally be an evening shift nurse and he would be at the bedside till three in the morning and return two hours later from home with a suit and tie ready to start the day. So uh, there wasn't much spare time in his life. He's not just an unbelievable surgeon. He's also an unbelievable person that cares about every one of his patients. You don't often get those two things in the same person. When the time came to finally go home, we couldn't thank him enough. We think we were thanking him a million times that day. Mm -hmm. And he just said, I'm just doing what I was put on this earth to do. He treats you person to person mm -hmm. as if we're equals, mm -hmm. and we couldn't be further from equals. Like he's up here, <laughs> and we're all down here. As far as his abilities, as far as his and abilities, his, what and what he's accomplished life. in his life. Yes. Yet when you talk to him, it's like meeting an old friend for a beer. Yes. It's, it's um, he's just. It's a beautiful thing. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? When you think about Dr. Obawi, there's three things in my mind that come up. This unbeatable optimism. This is my favorite uh, job of the day. Yeah. His unique relationship with patients that absolutely adore him and his tenacity and determination when it came to patient care. No is never an answer and we do everything we can for our patients. I just want people to know that if it wasn't for Dr. Abawi and everything he created, a lot of our kids probably wouldn't be here. Every year we have a picnic and parents and children would just gravitate to him when he arrived. One of my kids said, it's kind of like we're at Disney and there's a line for Mickey Mouse, a photo with Mickey Mouse. And I look and who's at the front of the line, but Michelle. And I feel so bad for his wife because she comes with him sometimes. And the moment people see him, she's kind of just pushed aside. But I think for her, it must be so special to see how loved her husband is. We used to say it was like, you know, Elvis is in the building because he couldn't even get off the curb. And everyone was lining up to see him and the line he would stand in. 90 degree heat just to hold this child because parents would say to me, how do I say thank you? You know, like, thank you is such a small word for a man who saved my child's life, you know? Holy cow, look how many people that he saved. Just seeing his face and seeing how much pride he takes and seeing everyone come back, yeah, it's a pretty special moment. He remembers their story, their heart defect, who they are. He makes yeah. each family feel special. Like you're special. the only person, like you're the only really. one there and... Yet he's doing three surgeries a day. Yes. Yes. There is a fan page of for him <laughs> on social media. Of, um, it's called Dr. Abawi Alumni. <laughs> People jump on and they share their story or their kid's story. So yeah, he definitely has a fan base. We're, we're definitely fans of Dr. Abawi. 150% he always gave to the unit, to the children, to the families, to the nursing staff, to the growing fellowship program, to the physicians. So uh, I don't know if you can ever stop all that. I can't imagine that he won't be reading his journals, even if he's, you know, sitting on a boat somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure they're with him. Hello, Michelle. Congratulations on your approach into the new phase of things. We certainly miss seeing you in the operating room. I don't believe for one second that you're actually retiring, and I hope that I will see you around uh, teaching the fellows, teaching at CATH conference, teaching me. Yeah, I learned so much from you, your excellence uh, model and your compassion for the patients. Your heart is huge. On behalf of myself, my wife, Owen, our family, and certainly the thousands of other families that you've helped in your tremendous career, thank you. You're simply the best. It's really amazing what you've done, and I wish you the best of luck in your retirement. You've definitely earned it. Congratulations on your well-deserved retirement, Dr. Mbawi. We are so thankful for everything that you've done for our family. Yay! Yay! I don't think I know anyone who has made such a positive difference in so many people's lives, especially mine. Thank you for all the teaching you've done for me, for countless other trainees, 
but more importantly, for all the great care and the lives you've saved. You've made a huge difference. Thank you for keeping me and my heart safe. Ethan and our family are so grateful for everything you've done for us. There isn't a thank you big enough for everything that you did for me in 2018. I am so grateful forever. Thank you for fixing my heart. We love you. We appreciate you, love you, thank you. I love you, Dr. Bell Bowie. Thank you for everything that you've done for our family and for little Adeline. Thank you for helping my family and all the other families you have helped. Thank you for saving my life. Can you please come see me after my next surgery? Have a good retirement. Thanks to you, Dr. Bell, I'll be turning 13 this year and going into middle school. The whole family thanks you. I love you, Dr. Bowie. Congratulations, Dad, on your retirement. We love you. We're so proud of you. We love you, Shadow. Dad, today is the day to celebrate 50 years of service. And for those of you worrying that Dad will be bored, trust us, he'll be busy training the next generation of superheroes. Love you, Shadow. Love you, Shadow. Michelle, let me congratulate you for a wonderful career. And uh, thank you. Really express our gratitude for inspiring us and for all that you've done for the Pediatric Heart Institute and for Advocate Children's Hospital. Let me wish you the best of luck for this next phase of your life to you and to your family.